Good evening. Welcome to Illuminations, Reflections of an Earth. Future World shirt. Haven't worn it yet because it's old but new. We're going to Naples. Tonight. Tonight. It's 624. We have, we kept saying two hours, I think because Grant kept saying that, and I think it's like three hours. It's three. It's three hours, so today is going to be basically a travel vlog, but the fun part is, is we're making a detour. You'll just have to wait and find out in about 30 seconds. This doggy is so excited. Peter is inside Wawa right now. We're gonna fill our um, tires with air before we hit the road. But Eve is like psyched out of her mind. And this looks like a good spot to relax. She's breathing so hard. Oh, where'd you know? He sees Peter coming. Another person needs to use the free air. That's not us. <laughs> they had a Coke freestyle machine, but they did me dirty. They had a Coke freestyle machine, but they didn't have Aww. cream soda. So I got cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper, and it's kind of really weird. Got hers, because they had deals going on. We got sour cream and onion ridges. Oh. We got hot. Oh. And look at these. Delicious baked cookies. Ooh, nice picks. Road trip. So I think, I thought it was the front driver last time, but now this is our back passenger and that's definitely the one with no air. And look at the same setup. We're good for that. And then, this one's better. This is a way better one than the one we paid for. But it's filling up now. I'm gonna check the other tires while I'm here before we hit the road. All right, Eve is freaking out. She no. loves the car. She does love the car. She loves it so much it just like gets her amped. But we're gonna hit the road. Got air, the air pressure warning is gone. Hopefully it stays away for this road trip. We're gonna hit the road. We're about what, an hour and a half away from Tampa? An hour and 15. Hour and 15. We're not going directly to Tampa. We're going to Portillo's. Wait, we're gonna tell them the surprise now? Yeah, we're going to Portillo's, a little, pe a little piece of Chicago for dinner. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get a beef. I might get a burger. Either way, I'm getting, either way, I'm getting a shake. After you said the, the beef. And then we'll, we're we'll then after that we'll have like another two hours before we're in Naples tonight. Yep. So today's like strictly like gonna end up being a travel vlog basically with a little Violet. Hopefully at the end of it. Hopefully she's not sleeping. Let's go. The nonsense I, that goes on while I'm driving. Shaking their booty for Portillo. We're supposedly like less than a mile away. We're in a place that looks just like Chicago. <laughs> like strips of stores, just a little bit of different foliage. Like there's not Spanish moss in Chicago. But Chicago. this kind of, this kind of intersection with these kind of traffic. Don't mind her slava. She's decorating for us. Alright everybody. We have arrived, and I'll tell you what, it looks like a Portillo's minus one very important aspect. What? There's not like a 30 minute line <laughs> of vehicles. It's a long drive then. Every, every single, every single Portillo's in Chicago. Can I have one Italian beef hot dipped? Okay. One large cheese fry? Okay. And... One double burger with everything, please. Do you want cheese on that? Yes, please. Okay. And Evers is getting um, <laughs> restless. She's gonna. The thing is, like, I'm gonna have to wear the pull aside. Does it? Oh, it does. West Chicago. All right, so we're actually gonna eat outside. I wanted to show you though, because then Eve can go to the bathroom. She won't bother us, and the car won't stink up the car. Yep. And Sarah's on FaceTime with our, some of our nephews over there. But look at uh, look at this Portillo's. Look, look, look at this. Looks like Chicago though. You see it? Look at that. Even comes in the same good old styrofoam yellowish. It looks normal. Looks regular. We've got Sarah's. This is the famous. This, this is a, we showed you this in our last Chicago vlogs where we went to Al's Beef. I don't typically get. A beef from Portillo's just because I'm a big Al's beef supporter. But Portillo's does have a good beef. 
Ooh, the greasiness on my hands feels like home. Look at that. So that's the Jardinera peppers. Dip. They take this whole bun, dip it in the beef aju. It looks normal. It looks a little lighter than usual, but it looks looks good. It looks good. And then uh, my cheeseburger, charbroiled, and some good old cheese fries. So uh, I'm gonna put the camera up so we can eat. Sarah's legs. We're gonna try to turn the light on really quick and see if we can get her. She's just staring out the window laying on Sarah's legs. Oh. Such a sleepy cutie. We've been getting questions from an Instagram story for a little mini Q&A. We'll probably do that maybe when we get to their place because I'm sure everyone will be asleep yeah. shortly after we get there. So maybe we'll just do it then if we don't do it yeah. in the car because it's so dark. This way the video will have some meat to it. But we've already got some fun questions. I'm excited. Well, she was stirring. We got off the interstate, so so Evie's got to get all nosy and make sure we're doing the right right ways and turning the right directions. <laughs> we made it. Here's Grant in his natural environment. Hello, everybody. Look at this cool table. It's got little seats underneath it. Everyone's asleep. The grand's parents and the baby. We need this furry baby to stay very quiet. She's exhausted. She'll be good. Just wait till you get to run in the yard tomorrow. Yeah, she's gonna be for the first time without a leash in her entire life outside. It's gonna be great. Christina, I want to see your baby, but she's sleeping. Wait, no. I'm gonna go sleep soon. So are we. Alrighty. You said we made it safe, right? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do a quick, quiet. Q&A. Okay, so our first question was from Tab5. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. He said, why are there Wawa cups but no Portillo's cups? He knew before we even went to Portillo's. Um, we got the Wawa drinks because we were thirsty then. And we didn't get drinks at Portillo's. Mm -hmm. Because why. we got big Wawa drinks. Yeah. Okay, Megan Howe asked, what is your favorite place to have dinner on Disney property? Ohana. Ohana. Steve Elsis um, asked, would you like to visit us in Tampa? It's okay if you don't. Yes. We just went to Tampa tonight for our little Portillo's kick, but we do want to go to Tampa to actually enjoy it. So, we'll let you we'll know. Let you know. Um, Ruby Falls asked, what's your favorite road trip snack? Mine's probably honey barbecue twisted Fritos. I like a big fountain beverage, um, and I would probably say, I didn't have it today, but I really like beef jerky, peppered beef jerky. Wish Upon Design says, have fun. What are your goals as a couple? Where do y'all see yourselves in five years? Our goals as a couple most recently are figure out our sleep schedule, which we talked about yesterday in the vlog, um, just to like make the most out of our day, but also to like get consistent. Yeah, I'll go over like what she's really asking. We want, hopefully, have two or maybe even a third child in five years yeah. and have a house. Michelle Williams asked, does Eve enjoy car rides? And that answer is she loves them. Baby of Mine Company, which just opened today, if you haven't seen our Instagram story. Grant, you can answer these two if you want. All right. What is your favorite song in Greatest Showman? Mine is From Now On. Peter's <laughs> is... Mine's a million dreams. Eve's is rewrite the stars. <laughs> I talk to Christine about this constantly, and it's a constant like debate in my own head. I'm not 100% sure what my favorite song is, but it like rotates from from now on. The song when they're in the bar. Oh yeah. From now on. Uh, no. no, 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 no. When they when.
when him and Zac Efron are in the bar. Oh, oh. Cause you can do that you do. Oh, you yeah, can do but a lot of people don't like that one, but I like it. I like that too. Okay, a lot of don't people, I mean Christina doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, A Million Dreams when the boy sings, yes. not so much when I like Hugh, Jackman Hugh girls. Jackman's voice and the girl's voice, but when the kid sings. I that's why the Million Dreams is my favorite. Perfect. One. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna have to go with the bar with Zac Efron and Hugh Jackman because I was the first one I liked. Okay. It's been a year. Do you plan to continue living in Florida for the foreseeable future? We see ourselves living in Florida for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Until like we're like very true Until to we ourselves. Don't want to. So if we ever stop wanting to live here, we'll, we'll stop. stop living. We're very like <laughs> self-actualized in that way like if we know that um if we know we aren't happy or we know we're not fulfilled then we'll leave it's because they're secret millionaires they can move wherever they want <laughs> you're yes. secret millionaires <laughs> okay what is you and peter's most magical or memorable disney moment together this is the first time we ever came to disney World together we were staying with our friend jill and we were driving and I had never seen Disney. I made sure to like see as little videos or YouTube or pictures as I could. And I'm driving. It's late at night because we got here late. I see the very tip top of Space Mountain. I say, oh God, I think I can see the castle. Sarah screams at me, close your eyes, and tries to cover my eyes as I'm driving like 45 miles down the road. Wow, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty memorable. Michelle, oh, I forgot to say that Megan Howe asked that. And, oh my gosh. And Nain and Pierre asked about us living in Florida. Um, Michelle asked, how often do you go back home to Chicago to visit family? And we've been going back like... So we just passed one year of living yeah. here. Sarah went back one more time than me. And so would you go six times? So I went the baby shower, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Violet's birth, my dad's birthday, 4th of July slash baptism. So I went six times and you went five times. Yeah. So um, we'll definitely continue to go for the big holidays. And then as far as like things during the spring go, we'll probably just like depend on the year. So like every two, three months, Mariana Villarreal asked, I'll, or she actually said, I'll send you some Brazilian candies and coffees next month. Anything in particular you guys want to try? Uh, any, I don't know anything coffee. specific. So I don't like coffee. So if you could do coffee and candy. We never turn down the Is candy. Brazil the country or is it like other Latin American countries that do like the spicy chocolates? Spicy candies. If you got spicy, spicy candies, we'd like that. Um, I actually cut off the name of this person, so I'm sorry. Um, have you ever done the Keys to the Kingdom tour? I'm excited to do it in September. Um, we have not. Yes and no. Yes and no, according to this chat. And I say yes and no because both of us were cast members before and we got a, like a not the full on Keys of the Kingdom tour, but you do get a very cool behind, like backstage and on stage tour of it's Magic called Kingdom. Once Upon a Time is Now. Yes. At least it was seven years ago. Um, Kayla asked, Does Eve ever go to the parks? Eve does not go to the parks. They, um, She's they, a four yeah, they do not allow dogs at the parks unless they're service animals. Four different hotels allow dogs. She's gone to Port Orleans Riverside. She's gone to Fort Wilderness. Your thoughts on Star Wars Land? Super Excited. Pumped. Super pumped. It's going to be a mess with the crowd. A mess with people. Um, but I think once... Okay, so like we're studios people through and through. So... It's gotten a lot of flack the last couple of years, and I'm just like happy for people to start going there again and giving it the attention it deserves. And the last question is, do you miss life in Chicago? And I would say we miss Chicago itself, we miss our family, and all of that that goes along with it. But like, um, I guess we like worked a lot more, like I don't say like we worked a lot more in Chicago. We had like a long commute, um, both had hectic jobs. I would say um, like we have, the greatest thing about moving here is we've got a better outlook on life. Yeah. Like our day to day life before wasn't as fulfilling. And that was like because of ourselves, I think. Yeah. And I think like we've talked, like we've learned so much living down here and taking every day to be special and like worth remembering and documenting. Um, and we just weren't in that mindset. 
Alrighty. One, well, stand up and show this giraffe in the corner before we turn off. Okay. Remember when we told you that Grant grew up all around the world? Their decorations are from. Are they from all around the world? Yeah. yeah. Look at this chest. Look at those rain sticks. Yeah. And on that big old yawn Eve, how'd you get so fluffy so quick? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. In Grant's home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>